Here are several practical ways to help you trust God in your everyday life. Number one, seek truth in scripture. The Bible is called on changing and trustworthy world, providing a place to rely on during uncertain times. It record God past response and remind us of his trustworthiness. The truth of the scripture free us from all realistic scenarios and expectations of salvation. A strong foundation of scripture is essential, allowing us to cleave to each truth in life challenges. Number two, confess unbelief. Be honest with God about your feelings and struggle with trusting Him. Acknowledge His character and trust in His promises. Confession helps you to accept His eagerness and grow in faith. In Mark chapter 9, a man asked Jesus to heal his son from a demon. And Jesus responded with a belief. Confession helps you to humble yourself and grow your faith. As he hears your request and answer them, remember, God wants to help you grow your faith. Number three, share your concern with your community. During difficult times, the Lord is with you and provides you with other believers to support you. Paul, a leader in the early church, share his experience with fellow believers as an encouragement. Partner with others can fit, can deepen your understanding of God and His plan. Find trustworthy followers who share the truth and remind you of God's character. Community reminds you that you are not alone. Number four, remember God and spend time with Him. God is bigger than your life challenges and is always faithful. You want to go to Him with your life challenges and spend time with Him. Establish a consistent time with Him. Read His Word. Pray and meet with other believers. Serve those around you. This simple practice will help you see God outside of difficult things and establish trust in His ability to move in your circumstances. Number five. Look for things to be grateful for. This very boy here is to hold it to heart. Typical circumstances can be overwhelming, but God's grace is present in all aspects of life. Despite the challenges, God shares His way for rocks and encourages us to rejoice, pray, and give thanks. His message is consistent even in the face of seemingly impossible situations. By giving thanks, we can fight the lies that everything is horrible and find light and grace even in the darkest of time. Number six, walk in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is constant helper in trusting in Jesus, providing comfort and guidance. It teaches and reminds believers of Jesus' teaching, easing the feeling of helplessness and worry about the unknown future. The Spirit guides obedience, provides direction, remind believers that they are not in love, Following the spirit leadings can help each struggle and remind them that God is with them in difficult times. Finally, number seven, wait on the Lord. The Holy Spirit guides us and sometimes we need to wait for the Lord's time. God is always there for us, working for our good. Waiting on the Lord renews strength, strengthening us and strengthening our faith. He is bigger than our circumstances and is always listening to our prayers and responding. Remember that God is always listening and responding to your prayer. Here's what the Bible says. When the righteous cried for help, the Lord hear and delivered them out from their trouble. Psalm 34 verse 17. I hope these seven practical ways will help you fight peace as you navigate through those challenges. Subscribe to help me bring more of this series. Thank you and God bless you.